Name's Tyrell Sackett, coming from Tennessee. I'm Mr. Walters. I'm Sergeant Daniels. This is Detective Molina. I need a job. You got a plan? I can do anything. You're kidding. Now, what is this? Ask me now. Hell, I always knew you loved me. You're a move counselor. I'm with you all the way, Lester, but you let him up. He's my brother. Oh, Nicky, Nicky, Nicky. Forgotten already, Nicky. Well, that was quite a bender. We chaps went on back there in Paris. You and Aldous and me and my buddy Barney. Yeah, so we just thought it was our turn to buy you folks around. Look, basically, you and I know through no fault of ours that the system doesn't work. Now, you dismissed this guy's case on a technicality, knowing full well Earl Palmer could kill again. Well, I personally think somebody just did society a real big favor. I'd like to meet him, and I'd like to thank him. SIU is a special unit that's given the license to do to what's kill. No. It's a unit of last resort with hardcore criminals. Rosanna, these guys are repeat offenders. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a sociologist. These guys may have had a bad environment, a bad childhood, genetic defects, I don't know. One thing I do know is that for some bizarre reason, they have a need to kill people. And by any standards, that's wrong. You certainly do have a viewpoint. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't ask you out tonight to talk shop. <sighs> Bartender, let me talk to you. You've been in your pants, pal. I'm busy. I'm busy too, pal. Okay, okay, what do you want? Information, who's dancing tonight? Amber. Is she the regular around here? No, Flo is. She took off. Where'd she go? I don't know. She's a stripper. How do I know what she does on her day off? Does she live with anybody? Like who? You know, I'm getting real tired of your smart-ass remarks. Now give me some information. You're hurting me, man. Let go. Answers! I didn't see anyone. You didn't see anybody going to that dressing room after Flo finished her act? Like I said, I didn't see anyone. We got a killer hanging around here. Likes to chop up women and feed them to cops. You keep an eye out for him, you got it? You never know. You might switch to guys. Cut your nuts off for a souvenir. Look, um, why don't you come inside and watch this with me? I mean, it's really great. See, it's this talk show about animals, and this one lady asked this doctor about how these other doctors transplanted the eyes of a cat into a dog. And she wants to know what good that does. And the doctor, he starts talking about blind people and how that's why they did it. You know, I mean, to help them. And then, then the lady, she says, she says, I just made that up. I just made that up to show that you defend anything, any kind of experiment. You get it? No. Oh, don't you see how brilliant that was? No. Well, she made that doctor look like a fool. I don't care. What's it got to do with me? You gotta care. How, how would you feel if they took our dog and they used him for an experiment? Martin, animals don't have souls. Everybody knows that. Do you think animals need souls to suffer? I don't care. Don't you understand? I don't care. I just want to know why you're spending all our money on Christmas lights. Me and my uh, partner here was thinking about making a little deposit. Uh, we was just uh, checking the bank to see if it was safe enough for us to put our money into. Yeah. Mind if I sit down? I do. Bill? Hey! Mr. Pendercost said he do mind. Heck, there's no way to treat a potential customer with the size of a lot of money. How much? We got 1000 One thousand. 
We got $1,000. How much you say, boy? Well, I was just speaking for myself since me and Barnes 50-50 partners and all. Yeah. Of course, that uh, sums up to 2000 I uh, don't suppose you got it handy. No, heck no. Now we got it hid. Get Big Jake over here. Well, then you're going to take our money. Sure thing. Well, I guess we're free to go then, huh? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> you remember our first campaign? We were hardly more than boys. On the first night of battle, I fell asleep. And dreamt I'd been killed and stood before God. Yet it was I who stood in judgment of him. I demanded to know why he acted so harshly against his children. God just looked at me and laughed. Stupid boy, he said. God no longer acts in creation. He simply watches. See, we don't let women get beat up in police stations. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about, all right? Yes, you do, Mr. Redmond. Amy comes under all the requirements of being a battered wife. Now, that's going to entitle her to funds, a place to live, and an order of protection against you. Yo, let me tell you something, okay? She doesn't have the brains to go about that. No, well, she's got a lot of knowledgeable friends. Like who? Me. Let me tell you something, Mr. Redmond. An order of protection gives a police officer the right to arrest you if you come within two blocks of your wife. And if she calls for a cop, I'm going to be the one to respond. That's going to make it just you and me. Try busting my jaw. This is a dangerous country we're going through. And he worries about you. You're all he's got. I love my grandfather. But sometimes he pampers me like a child. I am a woman. You are that, ma'am. I have heard the vaqueros talk about the Indians. If they will not tell me the truth, maybe you will. Well, seems like you already know it, ma'am. Thank you. Are you going to Santa Fe? No, ma'am. We're going wild cow hunting along the purgatory. But maybe after we're through, we'll be going to Santa Fe. I hope so.